Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are reviewing the Rode NT1A condenser microphone. Now I am Amy, I am a 20 plus year digital marketing veteran and it's my job to help you get the most out of your digital channels. I'm gonna start this product review the same way I start all the product reviews and just make sure that you understand that I am not getting paid by anyone to do this product review. Rode did not send me this microphone. I did the research on my own and purchased this microphone with my own money and now I am passing this review on to you. So let's first talk why did I purchase a condenser microphone. I was looking for a condenser microphone because I wanted the microphone to do two separate things. The first thing I needed it to do was one, help me with my digital marketing agency's podcast. We have a few people that we have come on the podcast and I wanted to make sure everybody had a good mic and this microphone fit that bill. Now the second thing is, is I wanted to use it to record vocals. I'm in a band and I had used one previously in the past. I bought it in about uh, 2009, 2010. It's quite, it's quite old and it does quite well still at its age. So I knew that it had the versatility and the durability that I needed. And then the third reason why I bought this microphone was because of the um, sound quality that it produces. I wanted a microphone that was not loud and by loud, I mean noisy. So there's, there's not a whole lot of noise with this microphone. So that's why I was looking for this particular condenser microphone. So before we jump into the actual microphone and what you get in the package when you buy it, let's talk about why I actually went with the NT1 to begin with. The the first thing was the price point. There are a lot of condenser microphones out there, but there are not a lot of condenser microphones that give you the quality of vocals that this one does at this price point. When I purchased this about four months ago, it was only $179. And when you see what you get for $179, you will be blown away. The second thing is, is the sound quality on this microphone is phenomenal. It is super quiet. So you don't have a lot of that hum and that background noise that you pick up with other condenser microphones. And then the third thing that I love about this microphone is just the warmth of the vocals that you get out of it. It's great for both podcasts and when you are recording vocals. So let's jump into what you actually get out the box with the NT1A package. So the first thing you'll probably pull out is you get a very, very nice XLR cord to go with your microphone that fits perfectly into the NT1A. The second thing you'll pull out is a Rode microphone bag, which is super important to have when you're not using the microphone. Dust can really damage these mics. And if you wanna keep it working nicely, you wanna make sure when you're not using it to keep it in the bag that is provided. The third thing you get out of the box is a mic holder. It comes labeled Rode. It's actually quite sturdy. It probably weighs about two or three pounds. So it's, it's a nice sturdy holder, so you're not gonna get a lot of vibrations when you have your mic in the stand. And last but not least, you are going to get your microphone. You get the Rode NT1. It does not come with this uh, mic holder around that this is just left over from when we were podcasting. I didn't wanna take it out, so. And you'll also get a um, windscreen for the mic that we actually use a whole lot. It's actually better than some of the pop screens that I've used in the past. So it, it goes right there on type the mic. So what are the pros and cons of this microphone, the actual use cases of it? Um, I would say the pros of it, again, are is, is the vocal warmth that you're gonna get out of it and the low level of noise that the mic itself actually produces. That is awesome. One thing that you, you, you may not like about this microphone is it is omnidirectional, so it picks up everything in the room. Now it picks up if you're tapping on the ground, it's gonna pick that up. If you accidentally, you know, move something on the table while you're recording or you're recording a podcast and you're flipping papers, it's really gonna pick that up. So you have to pay attention to that when you're using this microphone. The other thing about this microphone is, is if you are using it for a podcast, if you have two people facing each other, it's going to pick up the other person talking even if you're, you're pretty far away from each other. So you wanna keep that in mind. When we record our podcast, we actually put a screen in between us so that we don't pick up each other's uh, vocals on the, on the separate microphones. Now, when it comes to real big cons, the only real big con I would say ab about this microphone really is that, is that sometimes it just, it just picks up a little too much noise within the room. So you just have to make sure that it's quiet wherever you are 
recording with that microphone, which I mean, it usually is. I think when you are recording, everyone knows that, but I just have to say it's extra sensitive to, to picking up things that it shouldn't be picking up around the room. Now on a scale of one to five, what do I give this? I would definitely give this a 4.9. The, the only thing that I can find wrong with it, again, this is the second one I bought. So the only thing I can find wrong with it is that it sometimes just picks up a little too much background noise. But other than that, you cannot beat this microphone for $179. And I'm gonna put a link down below to to Amazon where I bought this package a few months ago. It's still $179. So if you are looking for a mic and you can't afford some of the other mics that are out there, I know there's there's a lot of mics out there and they're in that $350 to $400 range. This is gonna get you that same sound quality without being almost $400. So that's the review for the Rode NT1A. I hope you enjoyed this product review. And if you wanna see more like it, please hit the like and subscribe button. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.